love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Thank you for opening up. You know, I know this journey has not been an easy one, you know, but be being able to be open-minded towards the gifts and the blessings as well as the lessons that's coming towards our way is really truly going to uplift us. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like uh, the video is being very informative to you, or, to you or even gives you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, um, that are going through some things as well, you know, even a fellow empath that needs confirmation or validation towards their life path or their soul purpose. Um, please go ahead and share while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, my metaf uh, my meditation, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Uh, my meditation music that I'm listening to is called Manifest Your True Love, Six, 639 Hertz Subconscious Mind Programming, uh, Listen Before You Sleep, and I will post that link in the description box below, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101, Hayoka's hey, Putting Understanding to Your tragic, Tragedy You Endured, you know, it, it's like, it's kind of hard when you're constantly going through stuff left and right, left and right. And it was like, uh, before I started that, I had to really take me a nap, y'all. After I did that third video, you talking about somebody had a splitting headache. It was like so many downloads was coming at me at one time. And it was like me getting downloads and me releasing at the same time. You know, I wanted to go take my daughter to work and I couldn't even barely see you know, and I was just like, oh gosh, I said, I need she's like, mom, are you okay? I'm like, my head is like feeling like it's about to explode right now. It's just like, just crazy. So it, it's just like everything going on, you know, with the shift and like we constantly have all these, uh, you know, these moon phases and all this stuff is really putting our, our energy to work. It's like recycling and the, the stuff that we're leaving towards everything, like I told y'all before, we were flipping dimensions. You know, our energy is making multiverses on top of omniverses. It, it's just really crazy because it's like we're holding that powerful energy. I don't think a lot of us was aware we had. And it's like we're being used to go ahead and make up something that has not even been, you know, formed up or even, you know, acknowledged yet. At least not by, you know, the human form. You know, it's already up there in the spirit world or whatever. They already knew this was going to happen. But, you know, like if we were to talk about scientists and all those folks be studying the earth and the earth core and all that stuff, they ain't found nothing out yet. But being able to place this understanding on why you have went through the things you've gone through, you know, it can be tragedy. <laughs> it can really be a tragic situation because I was looking at my book and, you know, I got a whole bunch of content that I write down. And, you know, I asked the universe, hey, which one you feel like I should talk to today or which one I'm drawn to talk to at this moment that, you know, people feel like they might be, you know, resonating with. And it, it was just like right before I did that, because it was like I was doing my other video. Um, I forgot which video it was. It was like the second or third one. And I, you know, I said something like putting understanding to, you know, your tragedy. And it was just like. You know, it made me look at, think, I don't know why, but it made me envision God being stuck on that cross. And he took that selfless act of, you know, sacrificing his life for all of us. You know, a lot of people, you know, believe in those things and some people don't. You know, going through all these different things has really been like tragedy. You know, a real big tragedy because especially when you start remembering your past lives and stuff like that. And at one time, I don't, I think it was like in my witch, my witch, witch days back in, you know, teen, you know, my past life. I have a birthmark right there on my arm and it's like in my hands. And I remember being crucified 
you know, if you notice like some of your birthmarks that you have carried, you know, um, they have, they can re resemble the things that you have, remember you going through. I remember being burned by a stake, you know, uh, going through all those different things where my life was sacrificed because I was helping people. And, you know, it was just like in those days, you couldn't be, you, witchcraft was not good. You know, a lot of people feel like when you tell yourself you're a Wiccan or a pagan or a warlock or whatever you want to call it, um, people always assume that it's, you know, the devil's work and it's not really the devil's work. It just depends on what you're conjuring up, what your intentions are. You know, I shouldn't be able to remember these certain things, but it's just, I always used to look at my wrist. When I was little, I had um, a dying uh, infection in my body where I died a couple of times, like when well, I was like eight, nine months old and I would come back because I was in the hospital a lot um, my first year. You know, I was sick with everything, any and everything that constantly put me through. They, you know, they expect me to die. They had to bring me back. And it's like I had near death since, you know, situations. But being able to see my, you know, my birthmarks that I remember now, it puts to memory. Like, oh, yeah, you were sacrificed a long time ago. That's why it's really hard for me to, you know, read the Bible because I remember those biblical days, you know, of everything going on in life. And it was just like putting the understanding to the tragedy you went through is just like I put myself, placed myself in very hard situations throughout my lifetime where, you know, I help people out and end up sacrificing myself because of helping people out. And it's just like, dang, how can I remember that? Why would I remember something like that? But, you know, if you're that gifted person that is open-minded towards a lot of things, you know, people that are, you know, still sleep, they're, they'll look at you like, what? <laughs> you know, why would you think about stuff like that? And I really do, because people ask me, you know, there's people I've gotten close to, it's like, you read the Bible, I'm like, hell no. Yeah, I don't know. No, I've lived that life. I remember living that life. And a lot of things occurred in the Bible that they put in the Bible, but a lot of things were man-made where they put it in the Bible for our control. So, you know, there's a lot of things I, you know, I don't agree with, but there's also some things I do agree with. So it's just like no disrespect towards anybody's spirituality or, you know, re religion or whatever. So don't come at me because I don't come for me if I ain't call for you. <laughs> you know, so I'm just saying that's my opinion. But, you know, I don't, you don't not know any, anybody. My dad re read the Bible all the time. And I respect that. You know, I respect anybody's religion. You know, you do what you do. I have my beliefs and you have yours. So it's just like understanding why you have to constantly go through things. You know, my life, I had to go through something tragedy. I mean, tragic. And it just so happened that my dad's, you know, a celebrity and stuff. So I had to be that person that opened my life up to tell all the tragic situations I have went through to be able to help people understand the things that they have went through things they have endured in their life how you can pull that power of self-love strength after being persecuted in so many different ways you know to be able to understand why you had to go through those things you've gone through and it's like you know I just seen visions of you know of, of us watching God while he you know he was sacrificed um, being able to remember that was not a pretty sight, but, um, you know, I've always wondered why, like my parents will always used to make me watch, uh, like those God biblical movies and I would bawl and I said, mom, please don't make me watch this. You know, I said, this is so sad. And I, you know, and I would tell her, I remember those days. Like, I don't understand why they had to do that. My mom, it like freaked my mom out, but it intrigued her as the same. So remembering all those different things back in like 80, ABC, whatever you want to call it, 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 it's just crazy for you to be able to remember things like that. But it's like everything is starting to come up, you know, during all these shifts and the moon phases and the spring equinox and the crescent moon and the snow moon and, and the rain moon, whatever. You know, I have been going back like portal jumping. You know, seeing things from past lives that, that puts understanding on why I'm in this intense situation I'm in now. And it makes a lot of sense, even though it's like not easy to deal with, but being able to understand why you had to be that one to help others along the way while other people are helping others along the way. It's like we're having this 
domino effect of where you know we first you know a lot of us wants to you know save the world and a lot of us wants all these different things my phone lit up like crazy when i said that but it's like we have to start with ourselves first we can't save the world and cure the world if we're walking around with hatred in our hearts for people that did these things to us not being able to forgive people so we can be able to have that peace of mind not being able to move on and understand the concept yes you went through these you know ridiculous things that's very hurtful you've been abused in so many different type of ways and you experience these things but it's like it's not meant for you to keep reliving that whole situation over and over and over and over again you know it's meant for you to grow from that pain that you have endured being able to set example for yourself as well as other people to let them know hey you can endure abuse in so many different directions but you're that lucky one that actually made it through you know if you are able to you know detach yourself from the people that cause these horrible afflictions on you I don't feel like we're afflicted, but the things that they put on us is afflicted. You know, um, being able to heal from that, that takes a lot of strength. You're trying. It takes a lot of strength. You know, not getting up. You're not going to get over it overnight. That's not, you know, it's not going to happen. It has to take a gradual sense for you to be able to see you were that lucky one. Because there's a lot of people that have endured so much abuse and passed away from it. Or they have endured so much pain that they couldn't live throughout the days of knowing this has happened to them because they made it feel like it was their fault and they took their lives. I've seen a lot of things like that happen, you know, but you were that blessed one that you, you know, that you can be able to use your situation to be able to be an activist for somebody else that feels like they're stuck in this prison. And that's the blessing I feel I get, you know, from being able to, you know, tell my story, being able to open up and tell you about my abuse that I went through just because of who I was related to and who I resembled a lot of you know my dad is like a beautiful person inside and out and it's like more and more because I know his birthday is Friday so it's just like dealing with all that that's really sensitive as well you know so it's just like I'm glad my dad was able to be able to imprint on people that you know they listened to his music allowed their, his music to be able to help them get through so many different things and you know I hear my dad all the time tell me you know you're I'm so proud of you you know you went through so much but yet you you're using the things that you went through to be able to help other people you know and I'm like yeah you know it's hard it's hard to be, be able to deal with stuff like that it's very hard knowing that you're facing a lot of things that I never thought I would be able to face being able to open up and tell people the things that I went through you may not believe it you may do you know I you know, I have no reason to lie about it but it's just a fact is that message is for people that are truly going through something and need that hope that open door to be able to say can somebody help me understand why I went through the things I went through or will I ever get over the things that has happened to me Will I finally heal from these things? Yes, all those answers is yes, yes, yes. You'll be able to be able to he be able to be healed from inside out, but it's just your your decision. Would do you want to walk around and be in that painful person of being that that victim of these things happening to you, or would you rather be a victor, having victory of the fact that you endured these things and you're able to get over them? You know being able to heal from them. I don't want to say get over them like, you know, it don't matter because that's you. You know what you endure. You know what pain. You know, there's many days you probably cried and asked, why me? You know, why did I go through this? Why did I deserve this? You know, nobody deserves stuff like that. But a lot of times things need to happen in our lives for that wake up call to be able to say, yes, I endured these things and I'm be able to heal. And who else can I help? you know, to be able to heal those things from. A lot of times that, you know, when we go through things, we go out our way to help people just because we knew what that pain felt like, you know? And being able to do that, it, it puts perspective towards your life. It gives your life meaning, even though your life has meaning, but that gives it extra meaning to be able to endure something like that and being able to say, you know what, I want to be able to help people because this is like when I feel like I get all out of this and things, you know, start coming wired out <laughs> like I'm being able to be known 
in different places. I want to be able to help people. I want to be that activist to help empaths heal, to know that I can be the activist to help you know other people that have endured so much different abuse, being able to know you can grow from this. You can be that powerful person. You know, a lot of people do things like this to you because they see the magic in you already that you can't see. You know, and that intimidates the hell out of them. Sometimes it makes them hate you <laughs> for that fact. You know, I've been hated where people just like, how are you able to endure this and you still have a smile on your face? I mean, because I knew what that felt like. I mean, I had a father, a person that, you know, picked me, not, you know, biologically had, but a person that picked me. I, I was adopted and you still brought a child in your life knowing good and well you were that narcissistic devil. <laughs> to be able to place this upon a child that had no choice of who they're the person they came from you have to be if you want to be mad at anybody you have to be mad at God for allowing that to happen but it's not that child's fault you know and being able to endure all this for so many years just because I mirrored my dad you know I wanted to do everything like my dad is like my family kind of it kind of cringe, makes them cringe a little bit just because I act like him I sound like him you know look like him it's just all those different things I had to go through being able to know you're not even making a dent in my life anymore you know healing from these things has been a mission of mine so being able to know that you can heal from everything that's been placed on you that was sitting here to break you will be that jet that reward and you're gonna see the reason why you had to go through what you had to go through so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video I love y'all so much being able to give a uh, a shout out to Teresa Anderson. Much love to you, sis. I'm glad everything's going good for you. Gabriel, as much much love to you as well. And Nate uh, Mason, I hope everything is all well with you too. So like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate with this video. Give me a thumbs up. Even share. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And you know, it's not as much love and light and possi uh, positivity, not possibility, Posit <laughs> positivity that you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace. Be wild.